Well, I got this today in, from eBay. This is an 8 inch hard drive. I believe it's a 37 megabyte hard drive. Just to give you a comparison, here is a 3.5 inch hard drive. That's a monster. And you can actually see the platters on the inside. Pretty cool. Uh, the seller neglected to mention that it was missing the circuit board that goes on top. The uh, controller board. So there's no way to plug this into a controller or a computer or anything. But we can power it on. Now what I have here is a TRS-80 Model 2 disk system case. It has been through hell. In fact, the inside is rusted. The fan is seized. I put some oil in there hoping I can rejuvenate that bearing there and work the, work the blades back and forth. It's I'm getting a lot more movement out of it than I did earlier. I was going to power on this power supply because it looked like the biggest problem was just some let's see where are we just some rust but way down here I don't know if you can even see it where's my finger yeah you can't let's see do I have a light do I have a light no I don't have a light anyway there's a capacitor right here that's blown and in line a mylar capacitor is blown so the power supply is not going to power on but if I take these two wires here if I join the white and the black together when I throw the power switch it'll give me AC power on this line here which will power the hard drive so I'm going to work on that next oh and this is a quantum Q2040 and the, that's the 37 meg model uh, the 20 the 2020 or 2030 is the uh, the 8 meg model but yeah we just need to get well and then this plug's not going to fit so I'm going to figure out something yeah. I got the bottom plate off you can see this is the, where the motor is and it does spin pretty freely uh... here's our power it actually looks like somebody oh now wait a minute i didn't see that with the cover on well you can't see there you go i was going to say in there all the pins are smashed but that's not the uh, plug. That's the plug. There we go. All right. Well, it's still not the same. Still not the same there. But but the green one is ground. The green comes over here and goes right to the side of the motor. And white goes to this. Oh, look at this camera. White goes to this capacitor. and then yellow yellow goes right to the motor so white should ought to be uh, neutral okay, we got those two jury rigged together we got our power going into the hard drive as messy as that looks none of that's touching so that should be good enough for a quick little power on. I'll do something a little more permanent to I want to run the hard drive longer. Now to plug power into this thing and hope nothing down there sh and hope nothing down there is dead shorted. <laughs> but and I believe the power switch is oh it's in the on position. I really didn't want a surprise. Let's, yeah. Okay, we got AC plugged in. 
They're ready to throw this little switch and see what happens for the first time. Hopefully nothing will blow up. <laughs> Let me get out of the line of fire. I don't know if anything, I, well there's no AC going to that circuit board so nothing should go there. Alright, here we go. Beautiful. This has got no electronics, so it's not gonna, the heads aren't gonna move. And this motor's just. AC driven. Well, I need the power switch works. And my jury rigging works. Go again. Hey, thanks for watching. It's almost like the AC motor spins up before the rest of the thing does. Oh, even the bearings sound good. Cold to the touch. It's got 
pretty simple. Uh, got a connector there. That's a sensor that uh, for the brake. Not a sensor. It's for the brake to stop the platter, which is not connected. So, and then that's the connector for the circuit board that would connect the read and write heads. And this is the larger model. This has the one, two, three, four platters inside. Okay, nope. That's it.